What's up everybody, Tactical Swede here. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate all the views and uh, any comments you guys have. Please keep them coming. On the menu today, uh, if you saw in my previous video, I made the switch from 40 to 9 mil. And uh, in that video, some of you guys in the comments guessed the reason, or at least part of the reason. Um, it's not just one thing that, uh, that caused me to make this switch. And we'll get into that here in a minute. Um, I want to start off by saying that in no way am I trying to uh, disparage the 40 uh, Smith & Wesson round. It, it's, it really is a good round, uh, and in some ways it actually outperforms the 9mm, uh, specifically barrier penetration. Um, there, there's no doubting uh, through ballistics testing that the, the 40 is going to go through um, any kind of barrier better than a 9mm round will. But uh, I think that... The, the 9 mil just outweighs the 40 in a lot of other areas that are important to me. So uh, that's, that's why I made the switch. So, with that being said, 40 is still a great round. Um, it's just a personal decision that I made. So, three main reasons why I made this switch. Um, number one is, uh, well, as you know, I, I had a 40 before. Uh, when I bought that, that was my first handgun I ever bought, um, Glock 23. And uh, when I bought it, I was tending to value the quote-unquote knockdown power more than other things. So um, I, wanted, I wanted to strike a balance between the knockdown power of a 45 without having the, the weight and the bulk of carrying a 45. Um, and I felt like the 40 was a great compromise there because it was the same form factor, same size and everything as a 9mm, but with a more powerful round. Um, and that was the basis of my decision when I bought the Glock 23. Over the years, um, with advancements in ammunition, um, sh just shooting in general, and my ideals changing, I've come to value shot placement over knockdown power, per se. Um, I think that shot placement is the most important key. Um, it doesn't matter how powerful of a round you have, if you're not hitting what you're shooting at, it doesn't really do you any good. Um, and I think that the quicker and more accurately you can get those shots on the area that you're shooting at, center mass, head, uh, the quicker you're gonna stop that threat. And I think that the 9mm definitely uh, wins out in that area. And anybody that tells you that they're not quicker with follow-up shots on a 9mm versus a 40 or a 45, they're lying to you. They're lying to themselves because it's just the nature of the beast. It, it, less muzzle flip, especially with a 40. Not, I mean, not as much with the 45, but the 40 because it's the same size with a more powerful round, you're going to get more muzzle flip, which is going to take you longer slight seconds, uh, split seconds I'm talking about, but it's going to take you longer to get back on target with that muzzle flip. And, you know, you can comment all you want about, you know, being too much of a pussy to handle the muzzle flip. That's not what it is at all. Um, you're just, you're going to be quicker getting back on target with a 9mm. And it's just fact. Second reason is uh, consolidation. Um, my, my wife shoots 9 uh, just makes it easier, honestly, to have the same ammunition for everybody's weapon. Uh, it, not a big deal to, you know, for some, especially with 40. 40 is not that hard, you know, it's not that hard to find. Uh, maybe back in the day you had some issues with finding 40, but, but nowadays 40 is pretty prevalent and it's, I've never had an issue trying to find ammunition for my Glock. Um, but just simplistic. Uh, so, you know, I can go out and just buy a bunch of 9. I don't have to worry about buying 9, buying 40. Um, in, the, in the future, I might get some other weapons and other calibers just to play around with, but for, for everyday carry purposes, 9 is going to be my round of choice. Um, like I said, just it's simple that way. I can buy a bunch of 9 and not have to worry about having ammunition for my gun, for my wife's gun. Simple. Um, and the third, and at least last but not least, um, as a lot of you guessed, price. Uh, fact is, it's just cheaper to shoot nine. Um, one of the kind of the last straws 
that because I've been thinking about making the switch for a while, but I was in a gun store looking at some ammunition, and I saw on the shelf right next to each other one you know 40 rounds here, nine mil rounds here, um, same brand and everything. I saw a bulk pack of 250 rounds of 40, and right below it, a bulk pack of 350 rounds of 9, and they were the same price. So, same price, I get 100 more rounds of 9 mil versus 40 for the same exact brand and everything. Um, and that was kind of the, the moment where I said, you know what, I'm going to make the switch. Because, like I said, I'd been thinking about it for a while, I've been debating it, um, but that was kind of the the last straw there where I was like, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm going to make the switch. And um, I'm 100% glad I did. I'm not regretting the decision at all. Uh, again, like I said, I'm not saying the 40 is a bad round. Uh, there's uh, there's guys out there that will say, oh, 40 is a dead round. It's going away. It's going to disappear. I, I don't think so. Um, I still think it's very prevalent um, in the civilian community. If not, you know, it, you, you can see examples of... of law enforcement going away from the 40 back to the 9, but I don't see it just disappearing. So it's not going to go away. It's not a dead round, but me personally, for what I value, um, I just think that the 9 wins out in most most categories. And uh, the areas it doesn't, that's a sacrifice that I'm willing to make. And that's a decision you have to make for yourself. Um, weigh the facts. Do your research. Don't just take somebody's opinion for it. Um, do your research and figure out what's important to you and then make your decisions off of that. So really, yeah, that's in a nutshell why I made the switch. Valuing shot placement over knockdown power, consolidation of having the same rounds in the house, and price. And those three reasons are the main reasons why I made the switch. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Hit me up with all those. You're too big of a pussy to handle the, the 40, whatever. You're not going to hurt my feelings at all. But uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit that like button. Please subscribe and stay up to date on any new videos coming out. i got more in the works. Um, and we'll definitely upload as time permits, uh, editing and uploading. Uh, sometimes with work, uh, I, I don't always have time to do them when I want to. But there are more videos in the works, I promise you. More stuff coming down the pipe. I'll catch you guys next time. Till then, live life and have fun out there.